Hello and welcome to today's session. Today we're going to look at how to create a video recording on Canva. I've been using Canva for a number of years and it keeps getting better and better. This is how I usually create my videos as well as my presentations and of course YouTube thumbnails. So let's go into create a design at the top right. Click on that and we've got all these options. Now if you'd like to search for options that are not available here like Google Drive, you can do that by just writing Google Drive. We're going to go to presentation and that's the size that we want. If we want to customize the size, we can do that. We can also resize for um, Instagram, uh, TikTok, or Shorts since these are kind of wide and they're not applicable for um, the other videos such as TikTok, Shorts, and Instagram videos and other mobile device videos, of course. So notice what I get here, uh, magic design. I can also describe a presentation that I want and they'll write and design a draft for me. So what I'm interested in is VR and mindfulness. Notice it's there. And uh, notice there are some VR presentations as well as some mindfulness presentations. And they're not really connected, but I can connect the two. I can make any change that I want, whether in the text, headings, uh, images, and colors, of course. I can also add DID. And then I can choose one of my avatars or upload another one. I ask my students to use their own images and then speak their text instead of just adding it here. But it's up to you how you want to do it. And there are credits for DID when you get the free account and when you get the uh, paid account. There are other apps if you're interested in them, but we're not looking at that right now. You can also upload, add text, elements, and so on. We're going to go back to design and our VR and mindfulness. So here we go. We're going to choose the uh, first one. And we're going to make changes. We're going to apply all and then make changes. So it's going to be practicing mindfulness meditation effectively because that relates to our VR. But we're going to make changes in the font. We're going to go over here and change the background. And then we'll need to change these images so that they are more suitable or suited to what we have right now. So we can add a red or one of my favorite colors or a pink. We want to add something that has contrast. Okay, so you can play around with that. I'm going to add red right now and um, I'm going to make these changes. Also the text I think would work with the red. Not all the text, of course, we can make changes accordingly, but we might want to go with the yellow here and here. So let's do that now and then perhaps this as well. We can change that. Uh, these um, look fine, but maybe with a little uh, coloring, they might look even better. So we might just make them lighter, not the same red, but a different shade of red. And there we go. Right, I'm not sure that I like this one, but I think that's fine. And maybe a white a color would look better. Oh no, we changed the whole thing. Uh, what, which <laughs> might be, um, that might be nice. So we can go back here to undo what we've done. What I want to change is only this, the document colors, not the brand kit. So in this case, I think white may work better, but I'm not sure about that. 
All right, so we've got everything we want. Now we're going to uh, go into recording our voice. So notice here, apply to all pages. Yeah, let's go back here. That's not what I wanted. But here, we're going to add them all. Right, so I'm just going to work on the first one. Notice I go to the top right here and I'm going to add present. Okay, and then I can have presenter view where I see everything. Present full view, autoplay, or present and record. But when I go into the presenter view and click on uh, notice here, it'll take a few seconds. There we are. And notice here, enter full screen. I don't want to do that. But if I want to go into back here, into present, it's just going to present, present a window. Don't show this message again. I got it. All right. But notice what's happening here. Uh, the recorder is on. I can also magic shortcuts, share remote control. There's a timer there and more. So what is happening right now? Let's stop it. Okay, and then we can play it and hear what's here. So uh, let's back to the first page. And we can play. Now you don't hear anything, right? We can also have Canva Live. And the reason you don't start a new session, start it interactive and let your audience join from any device. This is also an option. You can copy the invitation and start. Notice it's live now, but nobody's there. Let's um, go back now, but I'm speaking. Okay, so you can share that. Let me end it. All right, and now we're going to stop the whole thing because what I want to do, and let's uh, go back here, is present. How did you rate? Ask me next time. We're going to record. Present and record, not present or view. Now, we get this. Don't worry. That's not going to be your face. Your camera is going to be open once you go to the recording studio. So now we're going into the studio and our camera and audio will appear in one second. So be patient. Don't think that, oh my gosh, what is happening? It's not working. What's happening here is Canva needed to access the system and it did brilliantly, right? There's the camera. It's not set up just the audio. So we're going to set up the camera because it didn't pick it up. Now the reason it didn't pick it up because I've got a camera open with Camtasia as I'm recording this. So the camera can't possibly uh, open since it's um, being used elsewhere. So we click on start recording and we'll have our voice but no camera. In order to get the camera to work, we will have to uh, stop the uh, camera on our recorder, external other recorder like I'm using right now. Now I stopped the recording. Let me continue the recording. I can go on to the next slide. Notice I haven't made any changes and uh, speak as I go. Okay, lots of text here. Be careful with that. You should only have uh, two or three words for the headings and then the bullet points. Notice this is too long. Too much text. Uh, the audience will lose touch. Use the text as visuals. Here again, too much text. The idea is for the audience to listen to you and not to be involved in reading. Too much reading is too much. But this is great because uh, each one is one word. It's quite a good presentation, but I would 
make changes, especially in the coloring, at least for me. But you might not. Anyways, we're going to, we can pause, of course, but we're going to stop. Notice again, it's just a recording. There's no camera. End the recording. And now notice uh, it asks for us to keep this browser window open while it's uploading. And there, that was pretty fast. We can copy it. The only problem is, is it available for everyone to view? We're going to go into the top right here, click on share to ensure that it's available for everyone. And notice what it says here, collaboration. Only you can access it. All right, anyone with a link can access the design using the link, but we're going to disable that. You can add comment if you want people to comment or just view. Anyone with a link can view. Make sure that this is on to ensure that it works. Otherwise, it should work, but just to be sure. And then you can share it in social networks. These are all mentioned. What's not mentioned is Google Drive, and you might want to do that. The only thing is you need to get your Google Drive ready. Otherwise, it's going to open things that you might not relate to. So um, maybe, and there's no way of... Um, searching for what you want. So I might want to um, add this under, not Adrian, that's for sure. Um, so look for something that's suitable for you. Maybe uh, create a new one that might help. There's mindfulness, might want to add that to mindfulness or VR. Now it's not an image, right? We're adding a video. So make sure that you have that, that it's a video and not an image. So uh, right now it's a presentation and that's what's going to appear, but you don't want that. You want the presentation to be up. So uh, let's go back here and go into present and record. It's here as well. And you can start presenting. There we are. Now, if you want the uh, MP4, you don't get it from download. You get it from here, this download. So you click on download and there it's downloading. So you can add it, Camera. upload it to YouTube. Or in order to get the camera you like. to, you can also copy the link and others will be able to view it. So let's go to the browser. Okay, wait a few seconds. Now notice here I need to have an account to open it up. So I'm going to not, there we go. And that's it. If you don't want the captions, the closed captions, you can disable them. Notice hide captions. Otherwise, for me, they're open automatically. That's my default. You can also change the speed, make it larger, and so on. You can skip forward, play, or go back if there is any back. But this is our first slide. And that said, if you have any questions about Canva, any questions, I've been using it as I said, for a number of years. So I've accumulated quite a bit of skills and knowledge. Feel free to ask in the comment box below and subscribe for more. If you're interested in anything, just let me know and I'll be happy to create a video just for you. Have a great day and enjoy Canva.